Hey guys, it's George coming at you with another video, and I hope this video finds you well. Um, I was in my networking class, and uh, right now I'm, I'm finishing up my bachelor's, and I had some homework here. And I've been doing the uh, CCENT. I passed that exam about a week ago, and I feel pretty comfortable with subnets, and uh, I just kind of wanted to make a tutorial on how to do subnets the easy way. It's really not difficult learning how to do subnets at all and I feel like we can go through it in a uh, uh, in a methodical manner and it, it's not something that uh, you should be uh, worried about if you're doing your CCNA or if you're taking some kind of networking exam or you just want to know about networking. Uh, subnetting is not something that's unaccomplishable. It's very accomplishable. So um, let's go ahead and start with this example okay now I will say that this is somewhat of a complex example um, I will probably be rolling out some other questions that are less complicated than this but this is the one I have available for my homework and I'm, of course I'm posting it after the day I have to turn it in so okay so we have a computer whose IP address is 198.132.202 dot two five five. Now this here is actually uh, a kind of a well actually no that's actually a valid valid IP address. It just kind of looks funny uh, because two five five you normally don't see that. Okay, and the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five two dot zero. Which of the following IP addresses are in the same subnet as this computer? Please show your uh, how you get your solution. And then you have these here. So, um, let's go ahead and work out how to do that. But first, I want to show you guys um, pretty much how binary works. Okay, so we've all heard of bits and bytes, or at least I hope. And if not, a bit is real. All a, all that a bit is really is just a one or a zero. That's all it is. It's a yes or a no an on or an off. So that's that's it. A byte, the way I like to remember it is that when I say you can have a bit of my burger, you're gonna take a little bit a little bit. Just take a little bit of my burger. And when I say yeah you can have a byte, byte it's bigger than a bit. So a byte is eight bits. An example of that would be uh, one one zero zero one one zero zero. That is a sequence of eight bits. One two three four five six seven eight. As you can see, there are eight bits here. There's one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight bits all together here. So that's it so far. Now, what does the bit mean? So, pretty much the way you calculate uh, what each bit stands for and what each byte equals to is by uh, utilizing something called base 2. And all base 2 is, it means that it's 2 to the power, since I don't have the power, uh, I'm just going to use a caret, uh, 2 to the power of n, which is any number. So, for example, if I said... Um, for example, that we had uh, eight, so which is, in this case is true because we have eight bits. So f an example of that would be uh, two to the eighth. Let's go ahead and do that on the calculator, even though I know that that equals two fifty six off the top of my head. But I'm just going to go ahead and bring up a calculator just to prove that to you. Uh, let's go ahead and do a scientific calculator, and then two. Uh, let's do let's see now how do we do this 2 to the 8th 256 okay so awesome 256 however I would like to say that if you were to um, turn on every one of these bits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what does that equal to it actually doesn't equal 256. It actually equals 255. And the reason for that is because computers consider 
zero counts. So zero is one other place. So if you were to add that one place to 256, that would equal two uh, 255, that would equal to 256. So the range from zero, well, I, the way I like to think of it is that the range from zero to 255, if you can choose zero and 255, is 256. So that's the way I like to think of it. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, now I just told you that 8 bits together like this once is equal to 255. Now why is that? Uh, that's because each place here holds a different value if it's turned on. So the order from left to right is like this. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So you notice that there's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, for example, let's say I were to turn on that bit. Or let me just go ahead and, and do it down here. So if I did a 1 here, a 0 here, a 0 here, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0. What you do is you look at this and you say that's on. So that means that this place up here is actually on. So let me go and format this. Let me format the font to uh, bold. Let's make that 12. And oh, never mind. That actually does everything that way. Let me undo. Let me do font and regular 11. Okay. Uh, so one zero 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 one um, zero one zero. So the way you calculate this is, you know that one is on, so that's one twenty eight plus zero. Okay, so we know it's zero. Is that means that the sixty four place is off, 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 on. So that means that we have to add this place value to okay and then it's off so this would actually equal 1 130 do you understand that so hopefully you you do understand it so let's say um, I have 0 0 or you know what let's let's go ahead and just do a subnet at 0 0 uh, 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 so try to do this one by yourself really quick see if you understand the flow Okay, go ahead and pause the video right now. Okay, if you haven't paused the video, uh, that's fine, because we'll go ahead and go through it again. So this one's turned on, so that's 128 plus. This one's turned on, so that's 64. And the rest are zero, so that means that they're off. So there's no more adding to be done. And uh, 128 plus 64 is 192. So that's a uh, pretty much a concept there. So that's kind of the way, uh, well that is the way binary works. Alright, so now what does that have to do with anything? So we have our subnet mask. I was actually going to show you something, but uh, I'm going to show you this instead. We have our subnet mask here. Now typically on our computer, so let me go ahead and show you. I changed my mind about showing you that now I am going to show you. Uh, if you were to do an IP config on your computer, uh, your card typically has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Now what does that mean? All that means is how many network bits and how many host bits are in your network. So for example, go ahead and minimize that. If we had um, 255.255.255.0 remember what I told you up here that 255 means all of them are ones so what this means is that this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot so that's this part here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot that's this part here and the last part of again again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 
and that's this part and the last part is zero but it's all zero so it's one two three four five six seven eight so there you go you have four um, uh, segments here like that so that's two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay so that means that you have this many uh, network bits and we won't go into that right now and we have this many host bits so pretty much this means that you can support 255 um, total hosts well actually not really because it's really um, um, 256 minus 2 and we'll go into that in a little bit so uh, let's go ahead and grab the subnet here that we had 252 so 252 is actually so let's go back here so it's 255 255 252 so it's 255 255 255 0 so that means that this third octet th each of these is considered an octet by the way because it has 8 bits this one's going to be 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 and then the 2 and the zeros are all um, uh, turned off so if you were to add this that would equal to 252 okay so you can do that using these numbers up here I already have these memorized so no problem so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 because that is still a zero and you'll never see an instance in a subnet where you have a whole bunch of ones then a zero zero then a one again then zeros it's always going to be all ones on one side and all zeros on the other side and ones go first in the subnets and zeros go after that okay so that is our subnet so why did I go over all of this now here this is probably the most important uh, bit of this entire subnet so we need to know what place this is in in reference to this octet here so we know that this one here is the one place this one is a two this one is the what one two then four so this is the fourth place so that means that it, that calculates our increment I was going to put ink that's four okay so now what does that mean well that means that each of our subnets are going to have an increment or each of our networks in our subnet are going to have an increment of four so the first network would be zero the next one would be network four then eight then sixteen so now what are the network IP addresses because the network has to have an IP address and so does the broadcast so we'll go over that right now so here are our networks here are our networks okay so we go back to the problem it's 198 dot uh, 132 dot uh, la, 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 la. let me just go ahead and move that up that's uh, not doing what I want it to do. Let me go ahead and make that smaller. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. So this here is the uh, subnet. So it's a class C subnet. So that means that it's typically on a 255.255.255.0. I know we haven't gone over that, so don't worry about it. But here we have a big clue on where. Uh, we're gonna start uh, with our network so right here all the ones means that we're gonna keep these first two octets the same so 198.132 dot and then here we're gonna start at zero zero dot zero so because uh, here's where the octet where we figured out our increment so we start at zero and do that at zero as well and that's gonna go to Um, one 
well, let, let, let's start off with the starting points. So 0 to 0. So if we go 4 in the increment, we're going to add 4 to this right here, to this um, this octet, since this is where the, the uh, increment was found. So that would be 198.132.4.0. Okay. So now this is through 198.132.3.255. Uh, 3. Dot, okay, so 198.132.4.0. The number right before this number is 3.255. That's because 255 is the highest number we can take, like I mentioned before. So if I were to just go up one more, that would be 4.0. So that's why I like doing this side first to determine the network addresses and the broadcast IP addresses are these on this side. So we're going to go down that way. So 198.132.8.0 and we keep on going 198.132.12.0 um, uh, and so on and so forth. And we, we continue that. We continue doing that. I'll go ahead and do another end. So what's right before 7.0 it's 198.132.7.255 so and so on and so forth so now here we can go on forever however the IP address that we're trying to reach is 198.132.202 so we're gonna go ahead and skip all the way to 198.132.200 now why 200? I know 200 is gonna be a network because it's actually dividable by 4 so if I were to do 200 divided by 4, it would be an even number. So that means that that is a uh, a good IP address, a good network address. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do the next one, 198.132.20 what? 204, that's right, because you add 4 to this number, dot 0. And that's going to be 2, uh, 198.132 dot 203 because this is the last one dot what 255 correct so this here is a range where is the network that this IP address is in so notice that 202.255 is right in between here so that means that when the question is asking us uh, which of the IP addresses in the same subnet we need an IP address that is also within this range and the only one would be this one here 198 uh, I'm just gonna skip this 201.205 so 201.205 you would agree is between here so that would be the answer answer C all of the other ones are for example uh, this one here would not be in the same IP address because it's bef in the same network because it's before this 200. 204 is after 203.255. 206 is way after. So that's how you determine that. So hopefully this has given you somewhat of an idea of how you can answer these type of questions. Um, if you guys have any questions, I know this was very quick, but um, I thought that maybe this would help out some people and um, if it did uh, be sure to leave a like down there and if you have any questions or any concerns or comments be sure to leave them down there um, hopefully this was helpful to you all and I'll see you guys next time bye bye